there's a new liberal tax on healthcare, home building, and food that the liberals have put forward and they're for forcing essentially a surprise vote on this tax today. I'm going to break down what this tax is, what it means for you, and why it must be stopped. Before I do that, you guys know that Justin Trudeau's censorship bills make it impossible to get the news. And so it is really important how you can help me oppose this th stuff. It's easy. Share this and click subscribe. No matter how you're watching this, share this video and click subscribe. It helps me get the word out. Okay, so this new tax on healthcare, home building, um, food, a bunch of different things. Let me break it down for you. So Justin Trudeau, we know Justin Trudeau is what? He's run out of money, right? He has doubled the debt. He has these massive deficits. He's run out of money. So he's proposed a new tax, okay? He's trying to make it sound like it's this really good thing. But here's what it comes down to. It's a tax on healthcare. It's going to impact healthcare providers. Like, can you believe that at a time when we're having like a doctor's crisis? How many of you have tried to go into an ER recently? How many of you have a family doctor? I know I don't. Now, at, at this moment in Canadian history, he wants to essentially have a health a, a healthcare tax. And healthcare providers like doctors, they've been like, are you kidding me? We, they've even said their associations are saying it's going to lead to healthcare providers leaving the country. So he, Justin Trudeau, having run out of people's money, is now putting a tax on healthcare. The same tax is also going to impact food because it affects farmers. It's, it is probably going to lead to more multinational corporations trying to take over Canadian farms and, and, and actually impact food sovereignty. So when you go to the grocery store, are you able to buy food affordably right now? No. Yet at this juncture in Canadian history, on top of the carbon tax, he's now putting in place a tax on food because it's going to affect farmers. And farmers are saying, we can't do this. We can, we're, we're struggling under everything you've done. And he's ramming this tax through today. It's also a tax on home building. How many of you would love to afford a home but can't? I know many of you. I, I, the, a stat I heard was that 76 of Canadians, percent of Canadians that don't own a home right now think that they'll never be able to afford a home. That's insane. That's happened. That shift, that loss of hope has happened under Justin Trudeau. This is only under Justin Trudeau. This is squarely Justin Trudeau's fault. Yet, instead of looking at ways to increase home building, to get more skilled trades out there building homes, he's putting a tax on the people who build homes. Like, if you're watching this and you, you have a small business that does a framing of residential houses, or you're an electrician who does electric, uh, residential electrical wiring, or if you are a crew that does cribbing of basements, this, this is a tax on those people. Those are the people we need building homes right now. And he now, like literally now in the House of Commons, he's trying to ram this tax through. So, and, and you know what, you guys? You all know, I, I don't care how you voted in the last election. You know that when Justin Trudeau takes your money, does anything good come of it? No. This government has wasted so much money on things like the We Charity scandal, the Arrive Scam app, the Auditor General has report. Like, I can't, I can't even keep up in telling you all of the waste because it's just one thing after another. It's waste. He takes your money and wastes it. So he's trying to say, oh, well, I need this, I need this tax because it's going to make people's lives better. When has Justin Trudeau made anybody's life better in Canada? In fact, every statistic, if you look at economic growth or affordability, I don't, I don't need to tell you this. Is your life better under Justin Trudeau? The answer is no, absolutely not. There's virtually anybody, like try to find somebody in Canada outside of the most hardcore Laurentian employed by the Liberal Party partisans who will say, yes, Justin Trudeau made my life way better, right? No, he drove up the debt and now he's out of money. And now he's trying to tell Canadians that a tax on healthcare, on home building and, and on food is going to help the Canadian economy when we are all struggling. We are all struggling right now. And it has to stop. I want to show you something that is so ridiculous. I know my camera's not mirrored right now, but Christia Freeland, the finance minister, she was out yesterday and she said this. This is the headline in the Globe and Mail. Freeland says the provinces should use this new tax to give doctors a raise. So what she's saying is, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna tax our healthcare providers who we already don't have enough of. Oh, and but maybe we'll give them back some of their money, maybe. 
like do you, like this 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 is this is let them eat cake kind of stuff right like this is elite out of touch business and we have to oppose this tax you guys nobody in canada should believe that justin trudeau or christia freeland after their incredible track record of failure of driving canada's debt up of driving prices through the roof on virtually everything of their tax agenda nobody should believe that they they that that them taking more of our money because like they think that they're entitled to it is somehow going to make our Canada our, our country better no we have to oppose this you need to share this video you need to talk to a friend and a neighbor you need to subscribe to this channel too because there will be more on this but you need to help me convince Canadians that we have to oppose this tax it is a tax on everything that we need more growth in right now. We need more doctors. We need more healthcare providers. We need more small businesses building homes. We need more farmers producing affordable, secure food for Canadians. But no, he's taxing them, you guys. So we are opposing this. They're forcing it through the House of Commons today. I'm sorry. It's just, it's, I have had so many emails in my inbox from people who are saying, you can't, how can he do this to us? We can't, we've saved our whole lives. And now, now you're telling us like, like, like the, the, the stories I'm getting in my inbox from people who are going to be devastated by this tax. It's unbelievable. So we have to oppose this. We are going to oppose it. But the other thing that our Conservative Party leader, Pierre Polyev, announced today was he announced what he is going to do when he becomes prime minister with regard to tax reform. So this is what he said in the House of Commons moments ago. Within 60 days of becoming prime minister, Pierre Polyev will name a tax reform task force, force of entrepreneurs, inventors, farmers, workers, and no lobbyists to ensure that we are reforming the tax code uh, tax code to have an overall tax cut for Canadians, to make sure that we can make life more affordable, that we can make sure that people who are, you know, struggling in ERs providing health care for Canadians or working a family practice to see to see Canadians or building homes or growing our food can continue to to do those things and grow. And more importantly, also making sure that Canadians who are who are working three jobs a, a, a day, like many of you are right now, actually can afford life, right? We've been, we've already been talking about cutting the carbon tax. Of course, we're going to do that. But Justin Trudeau has, he has taken so much of our money and for what? For waste. So Pierre also talked in the House of Commons today about how we're going to cut the rich elite corporate welfare that the liberals have made. How, how many billions and billions of dollars have they given to elite liberal corporate friends? Do you remember the millions of dollars they gave to Loblaws? Do you remember that? Yeah, I sure do. And that's one of countless examples. So guys, you need to know about this tax that they're ramming through, honestly. And they have the audacity to say that it's going to help Canadians. When has Justin Trudeau ever helped Canadians? When has Justin Trudeau taking your money ever made your life better? We have to stop this. So we will be voting against this. It's my understanding that the NDP Liberal Coalition, that the NDP are actually going to prop the Liberals up in this. They're actually going to vote for a tax on health care, on food, on home building. I just find that like repugnant given how many Canadians are, are struggling right now. And they're doing that just to to keep their seats, to, to hang on to power. And they need to be de defeated in the next election too. So we're going to fight this, but you guys have, have to help me get the word out. You have to help conservatives fight this. I don't care how you typically vote, but guys, like we have to fight for our country here. And we cannot continue to let Justin Trudeau uh, just 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 keep borrowing and, and, and then running out of money to, to, to waste and then taking more from 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 everyday Canadians. It's got to stop. So share this video, click subscribe and and follow. We will be I will be covering this very closely over the next few days. But know that we're fighting hard here for you. Um, we got to get these guys out. And and certainly we um, we have to oppose this tax working hard for you in Ottawa. I'm about to go vote against this. Have a great day.